Hi everyone, it's Michelle with Craft with MV. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to be making this window box. I'm doing it for Mother's Day. Let's get started. The dies I'm using is the window box. Okay, let me move this out of the way for now. The window box dies. And I'm using, of course, the box die. And then I just wanted to show that they have other dies. They have these three, the candles, the hearts, and like the bubbles can be placed inside here to make cutouts. So you can make it like a luminary or something. This of course is for the top. These are to make tags. Um, so there's a lot of things you can do with this. Just on this case I'm just using this. Um, I'm also using the succulent thinlets, framelets, and on this one I'm using um, there's three flowers. There's three different sizes so you can stack them to each other and make a, a multi-layer uh, flower. So I'm using these three dies. Of course you can see there's other items. Um, I'm using that. I'm using from the bunch of banners, this banner I'll be using. So I just wanted to let you know that. And then from flour the flourishing thinlets I'm using this um, nice border. Okay so those are all the things I'm using there. I'm using the oh so succulent set for the saying, the Happy Mother's Day saying right here. Now you can see that some of these coordinate with the dies. So you can um, see how good of a set it is. So I'm putting that off to the side. So what I need for this, I cut out, I use mint morocco macaron paper and I cut out two, because you need two. I partially started this one because I wanted the glue to dry. So that's, I have that. I use the sugar plum glitter paper and I use that flourishing forest um, border. I did three of them and what I did was I just glued them together to make one strip. So I just wanted to show you that. I, and I use the sugar plum glitter paper, I think I told you that. That's a celebration item which is ending this the 31st but I think they sold out of the glimmer paper already. I use designer series paper, the Oso Succulent designer ser series paper to cut up my flowers. I need extra sugar plum paper for my sentiment. I'm using a pearl for the center. I just brushed it a little bit to make it big. That's about it. And here's the glimmer paper, but I did cut it out already. The other thing I just wanted to tell you is I did it with glimmer paper because I like that glimmer paper and I wanted to make a little bling, you know me, on it. But they do have ribbon you can buy that goes with this oh so succulent set. One's in the sugar plum, sweet sugar plum, and the other one is just white. So you could use that to go around your box. This started, I'm just gonna put this off to the side again. You can see I folded the one. I'm gonna fold this, just have to find my bone folder. So I'm gonna fold this, and you're just gonna um, bend it, and then just fold in all the, all the, um, you know, on the, uh, ah, why can't I think of the name? Anyway, you'll see where to fold. <laughs> the knees gaped me. But anyway, so there's a little, you'll see a little indentation where you need to fold, and it just folds kind of basically on its own. So. Now the bottom box, you can see I folded, I put glue here and here and brought up the sides. This time I'm going to be rolling it. You're not going to put anything on the top because that's your lid, that's going to put something in. So I'm going to glue it here and on the bottom and then just roll it around, add glue here so it sticks to here, glue here and here so it sticks to there. Um, I'll do that off camera to save time. and. Yeah, that's it. So I'll be stopping right now just to glue the rest of the box together so I can show you what it looks like when it's done. We're back now. I glued my sides and my bottom. And as you can look in the inside, you can see this flaps up. These are down and the two seams are together. Hope you can see that. And then this makes, you can cut these off or leave them in. I'm leaving them in for now. But um, this makes, uh, if you close this, this makes your little box. So that's the box, box part of it. Now I'm going to do the flowers. With the flowers, we're going to be sponging the edges of all the flowers. And I've gone ahead and do, did a bunch of those. But I'll show you. I'm using this, uh, the sweet sugar plum 
ink. So we're just going to go along the tips, the edges, and the edges, you know. You can also just sponge the edge of the paper. I don't know if you can, so sorry if you can see me doing this. I'm doing the edges and then the top of the paper. You know, cyclones have some color usually, you know, they can be green with like red on the edges or start off dark green and get lighter. But, and also I did this with um, designer series paper. I've seen um, people, a lot of people do it with like the same, you know, color paper. But I thought it's fun just to use designer pure series paper and you can use whatever you want. I think it just makes a fun project. So that's that's what I did to sponge it. Then I curled them all. I took my bone folder and just and I put a I should explain that in a second. But I um you know just curled the uh, leaves up with my bone folder. So I hope you see me doing that. So it kind of makes a little cup. And what I did to stack them all together was I put, because I want them to be some dimension. So I took a little dimensional and put it between each layer. Of course, it's sticking to my finger. And now when I put these together, I'm going to arrange them so that the top petals go between, you know, or between the two lower petals as best you can. It's not going to be a perfect thing, but... Okay, and then you're going to put the middle size. There's three different sizes, like I would call large, medium, and small. <laughs> and you're just going to do the same thing. Just keep turning them so they kind of fill in the holes. And you can see I curled and sponged all these already to save time. So, okay, now the two smaller ones, what I've done, I want to really kind of make them smaller. So I'm kind of going to push them up. And then put them in. Okay. And then same thing with this. Just kind of give it a little encouragement to go smaller. And stick it in the center. And again, you kind of want to put the leaves in between the leaves before it. So there's your succulent flower. Um, like I told you before, I sponged... A little bit of color on one of the pearls. I don't know if you can see it. It's just a little bit. It's not intrusive, but it just looks a little better. So now I'm going to take this and I'm just going to place that in the center of the whole shebang. So we finished our flower. What I'm going to do now, I think, is I'll make my band. So like I told you, I cut three of these um, these borders out from the uh, dye from the uh, Flourish Thinlets. And what I'm going to do is just kind of wrap it. Oops. Besides, well, that's, I'm not going to worry about that now. But So I just glued. Oh, the glue I've been using is the uh, multi-purpose glue for all the gluing I've done so far. You can use the fine tip glue. I just couldn't find mine. So I don't want, I want to be able to slide it on and off. So I don't want it too, too tight. So I'm just going to do it here, and I'm just going to know, okay, that's where the end reaches. And the reason I did that is so that I can just have an idea of, okay, that's going to reach there. And you can just cut a few of these off so it's not so much that you're doubling. So I'm going to take, just so you know, I'm probably going to just take, like, two off. Okay, so I'm just going to do that quick. So I just get that little snip. And now what I'll do is I'll just put glue on the end of the last few of these. Okay. And then I'm just going to line them up over these last few just so that they line up good. So I'm just gonna let that dry. While that's drying, we're gonna go ahead and uh, stamp our sentiment. So I have the extra 
sugar plum, sweet sugar plum paper. And I'm just doing my cinnamon and um, the memento ink. And again, I told you it was a happy birthday. Happy Mother's Day, I'm sorry. So now I'm gonna, now what I'm gonna do, I didn't do it on that one, but on this one, I'm gonna leave a little more space over here to hook it underneath the flower. This one I ended up putting um, underneath the leaves so you could see that it says Happy Mother's Day. But this time I'm gonna do it so that I have more room to tuck it underneath and you could still read it. And again, our platform here, I'll just move this out of the way. You know, the sandwich we make, um, this is how I did the flowers. I did, you know, three at a time and then three at a time. You know, again, do as much as you can each cut. So, but you're gonna do the magnetic board, the paper, the die, and then the top. So that's what your sandwich is going to look like to go through the the big shot. So I'm going to go ahead and do the cutting in the big shot. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So you can see what I meant is I left more space over here than on this side. I am going to now um, just kind of curl this a little bit. Curl that side up and curl this side down. And pull the side up just a little bit. Okay, so that is your sentiment. So now let's put the box together. I'm just gonna open this. Where is my bed? Okay, here we go. Just tuck that in. Like I said, you can remove those if you would like. You can remove those little tab except for the front tab. Okay. So now we're gonna put our box together. We've been letting the glue dry on the the um, band. And again, like I said, you can use ribbon, whatever. I just like this. Okay, so we put the band on. Um, it's a little loose because you want to have room to maneuver it. Now I'm going to put the flower on the band with um, blue dots. Now I want a larger one, so I have medium ones here that I'm using. I wanted a bigger surface covered than the mini glue dots so um, these are just something I had around for other things that I do and it's just a larger space on it so we're just gonna attach that right on the band and then I'm gonna use since I just have them out a larger glue dot for this also um, well these are medium size but Sorry. So I just put a glue dot on that also. And now, this time since I did the extra, I could tuck it underneath and just lay it on the band. Okay, and I do want it hanging over the side. So there's our little box. You know, of course, um, I make jewelry also, so I'll probably put, um, you know, a necklace and a bracelet or earrings or something in there. Now this, again, like I said, I did it this way. You can do it with the sweet sugar plum paper and different... Um, glimmer paper you can use the ribbon you can use solid colors this is what I did and as always it's your project do what you want these are just ideas to look at and get ideas for yourself that's it I hope you like it a lot of my stuff again as everybody knows I'm a caregiver I don't have a lot of time so I kind of make it simple um, occasionally I get real creative <laughs> that's it Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator. If you're looking for a demonstrator, I'd be happy to be your demonstrator. All my information is below. I've included all the items used in this video are listed below. My blog is listed below, which has a complete set of instructions plus a list of supplies. You can, I also have it as a PDF so you can print it out if you needed to. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And that's it. Have a great day and God bless. Thank you.